once again, sneak preview, Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Let's get in there. AMC Theaters, Ontario. Let's get oh, in there yeah, right uh, now. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Let's get in there. Ryan Reynolds with uh, Sam Jackson and Sam Hayek once again. The first one was super dope, action-packed, and funny. Let's see if they do it again with this one. I hate the title, though, but let's see if the movie is worthwhile. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Hitman's wife's bodyguard. Let's get in there right now. They don't got it in the marquee, of course, because it's a sneak preview, but let's get in there. Got my treats on deck. Movie on select. Let's check it on out. And here we go. Michael Price is a clear favorite this year. <laughs> <laughs> You are now our son. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, it, I was about to give you one of these, but I gotta get one of these. For the thoughts, for the thoughts. Yeah, so. Hitman's wife bodyguard was a little more ridiculous than the first one as far as like what was going on. Uh, it, it was losing me for a good hour into it, and then it got a little better. And then it got a little better. I gotta give it. I gotta give it up to it. It, it got a little better. Um, it got a little funnier. Um, it still was ridiculous. It was pretty much like a like an adult cartoon because it was just some cartoony shit going on on this movie. But it was still pretty fucking funny. And my man, I think it's Patrick Hughes who directed it. Um, you know, man, Patrick Hughes, he, I like his directing style. There's one part where, anyways, I like his directing style. Um, it was a little ridiculous. It was like they want to be Michael Bay, but they don't got the skill set as Michael Bay. I, I don't know. That's just me saying that. But uh, it was cool. It just was kind of ridiculous. Like, it was super ridiculous. But it was entertaining. It was funny. Everybody in the theater was laughing. It's Ryan Reynolds. It's Sam Jackson. Saw my fucking hike, but her fucking crazy ass mouth. I gotta give it up. Whatever, I had fun. I had fun. I had fun, y'all. Um, yeah, yeah. It means wife's bodyguard, and they and that's where the ending, like the last five minutes of it, really sets up a sequel, and in a very funny way too. So I had to give it up. I mean, even the last very moments, moments of the movie, they got you going, blah, laughing, laughing, like what the. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It's, it's pretty hilarious. I gotta give it up to it. This movie is kind of, yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Go, go check it out. Go check it out. All right, I'm gonna say real quick what I didn't really like about Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I don't like the lack of consequence to killing people like it was. Like that, that was the cartoon part where everybody died. Like whatever. Um, you know, with constant uh, gun sprays and, and headshots and everything like that. It was like, whatever, people die, so what? Um, that's what the tone of the movie kind of threw me off, and I was about to walk out in the middle of the movie because of it. I was like, just, everybody's just, I, I don't like, I don't like action comedy. Yeah, I, I don't like action comedy like that. That's just goofball like that, so... That was the only gripe I had with it. Otherwise, the movie was pretty funny. It people, they, it, man, the editing, they, it, man, this was a fucking ninety-minute movie. Like I don't know what. This is an epitome of a ninety-minute movie. But that's all I gotta say about the movie. It ain't worth saying much more than that. Catch y'all later.